Good question by Joey Foster here, our guy Joey, yeah. who's asking about the effect of, you know, th this has been the busiest offseason I've ever seen in college football, and this is pretty much what it's going to be going forward for the most part. Uh, but that was the one incident that was specific. Everything else is a broad topic, playoff, NIL. This was the one thing that, although it dealt with NIL, were two name brand coaches and this spat back and forth. And can you really tell whether anything's been said by recruits or anything out there where there was any kind of impact? You know, it's interesting because I went to a, um, a spring game and, you know, we're, we're also conscious. We don't want to put kids on the record about, you know, give us your side, give us your take between Jimbo sure. Fisher and Nick Dave. And that's not fair to them. They're still high school kids and, and it's, yeah. it's a tough spot to put them in, but uh, you know, a lot of kids actually just approached it with a sense of humor, um, kind of laughed about it, said it was, it was kind of wild what they'd seen from both sides, um, you know, and, and maybe, and maybe laugh it off a little bit. The one thing I did, the feedback I did get on the, on the Jimbo Fisher, um, on the Jimbo Fisher side was the fact that he would stick up for players, you know, from a, from a player's perspective, there were a lot of kids that said, you know, him being able to go out and, um, you know, being able to go out there and, and put his, put out that statement to defend players was something I, I know a lot of recruits kind of liked and had respect for. Um, now they didn't necessarily have one of a pine on the whole situation, but that was just one piece of feedback that they said that, you know, and, you know, they could, they kind of appreciated that side of it, that he would have their back. Cause he's got the reputation as being a player's coach. He'll coach you hard on the field, but um, is known as a guy that, that players really connect with off the field. And so I think a lot of kids like that and, and just kind of laughed it off on both sides and, and, and tried not to get in the middle of it. Um, just kind of said that, you know, Miles McVay was one that, I kind of joked, you know, is, is, is this the side of you that are you, are you what the media says you are, or are you, and Jimbo Fisher said, well, you got to come see me in person. And he said, well, you're not like the media portrays you to be, you're a lot nicer than the media portrays you to be. <laughs> so he kind of joked with them. I, all kids have been having fun with it and kind of joking with them back and forth and, and having some fun with it. But yeah, no, for the, for the most part, I, I don't think any kids have taken it too seriously. It doesn't really have a swing in there. I do think it is going to be interesting, though, when kids do start going on back-to-back -back official visits to A&M and, 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 and Alabama, how coaches kind of lobby behind the scenes on, on those sorts of things. But for the most part, it's, it hasn't had too much of an effect. Kind of some off-season drama.